dude what the heck is this cord hi everyone today i'm going to answer these two questions what is this cord and why do you care to use it this cord is an online application that allows you to communicate using text images audio and video it is totally free completely entirely free in Discord, there are two ways to chat. You can either join a server or you can chat privately to somebody. Most common thing that you're gonna see is people joining servers. You gotta join servers. And what is a server? It's a group of people joined together by a common interest, whether this is a streamer, a particular game, or some activity like speed running, YouTube, art, video, photo editing, whatever you want. Pretty much there is a server or many servers for that. And if there is not, you can make one. And the way I think about it, there's two ways you can use Discord. You can either be a passive user, and this means that you are not the owner of this channel, you don't manage that channel. Or the second option, which is you own the server and you are administrating that community. I'm gonna give you two reasons for a passive user to actually make use of Discord. Reason number one. It is a great place to meet people that share your interests. You're going to be able to talk to people about things you want to talk and they're going to listen because they're also interested in the same topics. This is a very hard thing to do in real life because maybe you have one or two or 10 friends who share your interest. Discord is a sea full of people sharing your interest with the same passion as you do. Reason number two, if you are following a streamer, he's not going to be online 24 seven and you're not going to be able to chat with other members of their community if he's not live. But if you join his server, which probably he has one server, you just have to look for it. If you join that server, you're going to be able to chat with their community, chat with other guys that you met during his stream and even chat with the streamer. This allows you to be a part of the community when the streamer is live and offline. All right. Now you know why you should, you should be using Discord. But now I'm gonna tell you why I think that you should have a server if you're a streamer. One of the most important parts about streaming and gaming is the community that's built around it. When you're a streamer, your community is the most important part of it because they're the ones who are gonna support you. They're gonna play with you. They're gonna chat with you. They're gonna make easier streaming. They're gonna make it so much fun. People who are part of your community they cannot interact between them or with you when you're not live. Discord gives this place for your community to live when you're offline, because this way they have a place to chat, to interact, to send videos, to send information, to communicate, even when you're offline. That right there is reason enough for you to download Discord and actually build your own server and start boosting your community. By the way, guys, I'm not selling Discord I'm just telling you my opinion on why I think it is a very good tool to use as a streamer. Reason number two of why you want to have a server. This will give you a lot of control over what you can do with your community communication channel. You can assign to your users the particular roles that you want them to have. You can assign the role of administrator or moderator to some people that you trust. This will allow you to actually keep your channel clean of inappropriate behavior and keep trolls out of there. As a bonus, if you're streaming on Twitch, it'll let you differentiate the users that are subscribed to your channel in Twitch and give them the role of subscriber in Discord. This is a way for you to provide a benefit for a subscription in your channel because now they can chat in this text channel that is only available for subscribers. I'm gonna leave the link to my Discord server on the description to this channel. Feel free to join there and ask any questions that you might have that I didn't answer during this video. So as a quick recap, if you're a passive user, you get a place to actually talk to people that share your interest and a way for you to follow your favorite streamers. Or if you're actually going to build your own server, you get a place for your community to grow. You get the access to roles, which allows you to have mods and administrators to keep your channel clean. And as a bonus, you're going to get your Twitch subscribers to actually be different and you can provide them with an extra benefit of being your sub. Oh, and I almost forgot about this, but your subscribers are also going to be able to use your Twitch emojis on all their servers. That's it for today, guys. I hope that by now you're convinced that this is a tool that you can actually use to grow and nurture your community. Remember that I stream on Twitch every Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. I'm going to leave the link to my channel in the description of this video. Feel free to drop me a follow.
If you like what you saw, just give it a thumbs up to this video and subscribe to the channel. That way you will get more videos regarding gaming and streaming. My name is Denny Goku and remember to stay geek and be happy. See you next time.